Last month, personnel from the Joint Service Small Arms Program, part of the Armament Research Development and Engineering Center at Picatinny Arsenal, New Jersey, collaborated with the Maneuver Battle Lab at Fort Benning, Georgia, to assess a prototype light machine gun. The light machine gun prototype is part of the Lightweight Small Arms Technologies Program and is considerably lighter than the current machine gun, the M249 Squad Automatic Weapon, otherwise known as the SAW. To compare the two weapons, approximately 20 soldiers participated in a two-week assessment that tested the weapon's durability and reliability, as well as the ease of maneuverability. What we did out here today is the march and shoot event. Uh, we had all soldiers conduct a six-mile force road march with weapon and full combat gear to include a 50-pound rucksack. Immediately upon arriving at the range and completing the road march, they moved directly to the firing line. They then engaged targets from various positions. Uh, 25 and 50 meter targets they engaged from the standing position, 100 and 200 meter targets they engaged from the kneeling position, and then targets out to six and 800 meters they engaged from the prone. Uh, the goal of this event was to physically fatigue the soldiers and then assess their ability to accurately engage targets after being fatigued. Half the soldiers started today with the LSAT, half started today with the SAW, and then uh, the day after tomorrow on Wednesday we'll have those groups switch so that we can then compare both their perceived level of exertion with one weapon versus the other and their scores on target. My name is Corporal Hammock. I'm out of Seward Military Police, 139th Military Police Company, 385th Military Police Battalion. Uh, today we uh, ran with the LSAT and with the SAW. Um, both were pretty trying, but the SAW hands down is way heavier. It tolls on you a lot harder, um, go, especially going up a hill, you feel the weight on you. LSAT's a lot lighter weapon. Um, it's, it's, it's really a joy to have. My name's Sergeant Vega, Bravo 229. I'm out here testing the lightweight machine gun uh, against the uh, 249. It's real good, real accurate. Um, I got the first day we shot, real impressed. Uh, zero in the, the rounds itself. It was uh, my first six round burst were within a size of a quarter. Then, uh, then I got three on top of one, so I was real impressed with that. As opposed to with the saw, I have yet to get it within the size of a quarter, so it was real impressive accuracy. The night fire event was executed to validate the weapon's ability to be effectively employed during night operations in conjunction with a PEC-15 laser, the primary sighting device used by Army soldiers for night fire. Being fully capable for night ops is critical since a large portion of our combat operations occur during times of limited visibility. So, obviously heavier, it's going to throw you off your balance. It's a little more strenuous. The LSAT was not really hard to carry at all. I actually, instead of slinging it, I just carried it in my hands all the time just to get the weight off my shoulders. But I carried, I carried my hands all the time, had no issues. I didn't like fatigue my arms or anything. So uh, during all the tests that we did, like uh, the obstacle course, the uh, 249 was real heavy, bulky, and hard to carry around. So made. A lot more difficult than it was as opposed to the lightweight machine gun, which is a lot lighter, easier to carry around, and uh, easier to maneuver on that uh, obstacle course. In a mountain environment, room to room stuff, it's smaller, it's lighter, it allows you to get in your shooting position, low ready, high ready, do all that stuff a lot easier than the saw. The military utility assessment was a capstone event in the six-year program initially designed with one clear-cut goal in mind, to use technology to unburden the soldier by lightening the load. For Picatinny Arsenal, this is Eric Kowal, signing off.